what happened. CES. Here I'm gonna tell you, just stay tuned. Alright guys, in this video I'm just going to be covering some really cool stuff um, that just happened to be released. It doesn't really fall into any of my categories, but I'm going to make um, a video that just covers this awesome, really cool stuff in there. So um, the first thing I'm going to talk about is going to be the Belkin Wemo. Now what this is, um, if you've ever seen those like 1990, 1980 smart home movies, something like that, this device is going to turn your home into a smart home, which is awesome. I just love it. Um, basically, it has a control switch and a motion sensor. They sell them together or separately, whichever one you want. The control switch is going to be $50. The motion center sensor is going to be $60. And what they basically do is um, the control switch, you can plug into your home outlet, plug in whatever you want into the back of there, and control that the whole device exactly with your smartphone, your computer, anything like that. Now, if you plug the motion sensor into the bottom of that control switch, it will actually turn that on as you walk by. That's what the, the motion sensor is for. So things you can do with this, I mean, you can even actually schedule the devices to go on and off. Control them from anywhere in the world, too. Uh, say you're walking into the kitchen, you walk in, your lights turn on. You walk in, your stove starts heating up. I don't know how practical that is, but, um, or if it really works for that big of appliances. But they're um, advertising it as a big light controlling thing, fan controlling, um, little devices here and there, turning on your speakers maybe, um, something like that. It's just an awesome device, uh, especially if you just want to really control some lamps, things like that. Definitely something I'd say check out, get your hands on, um, mess with it. I'll try to get a review coming up here sooner or later. So another device that was released here is the Belkin Thunderbolt Express Dock. Now the Thunderbolt port is awesome, it's an amazing technology. Only downside is pretty much anything they have for the Thunderbolt right now is outrageously expensive. Thunderbolt hard drives, the Thunderbolt display by Apple is a thousand dollars. This Thunderbolt Express dock does not break that pattern. Um, what it is is going for it's going to be two hundred and ninety nine dollars. Not practical for really anybody, but it has two USB 2.0 ports, a FireWire 800 port, an HDMI port, a gigabit Ethernet jack, a 3.5 millimeter audio jack, and a pair of Thunderbolt ports capable of supporting daisy chaining on them. So you can still daisy chain other Thunderbolt ports off of that. Other, They did not do a good job in making this reachable for the average consumer. $299, it's not really in there, but it is cool to mention, cool enough to me. Next on here, we have the Griffin AirPlay dock for it. What it basically is, you have some speakers that don't run off of the regular 3.5 millimeter jack. You've never been able to make those capable of being AirPlay. Basically, this little dock, you can dock a Apple Airport Express into there. Also, you can it has some options where you can actually speaker wire your speakers to there and just make them AirPlay compatible. Um, basically, they haven't released a price for this yet, but it's definitely something to check out if you want to really automate your whole home, get the AirPlay to every single speaker. Another thing we have um, is the eye shower. I'm sure you're aware of your iPhones are not waterproof, but basically, if you wanted to be able to listen to your music, control your iPhone, your iPad, anything like that. I mean, who doesn't like to sleep, sing in the shower? I sing all the time. How I feel you now. Yes, that was amazing, I know. So basically this little thing, you just stick it onto the wall. It's water, it doesn't even say it's waterproof, something I'm a little worried about, but it does say it's water resistant, it's fully Bluetooth up to 200 feet away from your device. You turn the Bluetooth on, connect it, completely control the device's music library, has a play button on there, pause, forward, back, volume up, volume down, and also displays the time so you're not late for work, just because you get a little distracted from the singing that you're gonna wanna do on here. Oh, I feel you now. Alright, the very last thing I'm going to mention, it is the iNuke Boom. Basically, it's the most outrageous speaker dock that it has ever been released for the iPhone. You can actually buy one of these things, as much of a joke as it looks like. You can buy it for a good $30,000, but it's the world's loudest iPhone iPod dock. It has 10,000 watts of power on there, um, it's 4 feet tall. 8 feet wide and weighs over 700 pounds. If you're looking to buy one of these, you can actually go to the Beggaring website and um, 
custom order one where they'll deliver it to your house and put it in there for you using a forklift, I'm guessing. Uh, but basically, not really gonna go into the um, speaker details on this baby, but it's a beast. Let's just get that straight. At 700 pounds, you're gonna have some awesome speakers in there. This thing's gonna be amazingly legit. If you have 30,000 to blow on a big iPhone dock, do it. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment down here. I'll leave a link down below to some more awesome videos I'm gonna have. And just stay tuned for more coverage on the CES.